I mean, it's an amazing time. You can see him on screen right now. We'll hear from him in seconds. There he is. Ara Tapuzian joins us now. Uh, you may know Ara if you were in Troy. He was uh, recently the, the director of the chamber in Troy. Uh, you may also know Ara as the director of the chamber in Novi. And uh, he is now the executive director of the Michigan Venture Capital Association, and with all those acclaims and accreditations, the most amazing thing, Ara, you are now a guest on the, <laughs> on the Megacast. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks, Dave, for having me. Just a little clarification. I was um, not the chamber director in Novi. Oh. I was the economic development director for the city of Novi, uh, and then president and CEO of Troy Chamber of Commerce. All right. Well, sorry about that. And I know you sit on many other boards. Thanks for getting the resume. You know, when your resume is like 40 pages, how can I be expected to read the whole darn thing? I mean, come on. <laughs> you get a pass. All right. Thank you very much. So um, thanks for joining us here. Besides being a good friend, you are uh, so connected to what's going on in the business community right now. Uh, what are your thoughts, uh, just general thoughts uh, during the coronavirus and, and how business is engaged, fighting for survival and helping out? Well, I mean, I think the overwork, overused word of uh, unprecedented is, is kind of what we're hearing all the time. Um, but I would say that, you know, Michigan businesses are fairly resilient. Um, what I am seeing are in, in my neck of the woods are folks really thinking differently about how they do business, how they interact with their customer base, um, because they're forced to. And, um, you know, you're seeing more, you know, obviously you're seeing more virtual webinars and we just, uh, prior to joining you, we just finished one up uh, for our organization for this week. So um, people are acting differently in how they're, you know, really trying to stay alive and to stay relevant, which is really the key. And um, they're doing the best that they can. So, R, I'm really glad you're here today because as the executive director of the Michigan Venture Capital Association, you are on the absolute front line of entrepreneurialism here in the state of Michigan. And and you are also the representative of those that would invest, not only be entrepreneurs, but invest in businesses going forward. Are, are folks that are looking for business opportunities, I, I know you talk to them, uh, you know, uh, how are they feeling right now? And and do you think that this thing, we're going to come out of it like a V, like so many of us are, are hoping, and bounce right out of it? Or or, or are people saying in the know that it, it's going to be a tough recovery for us? Well, it's a good question, Dave. I, I think it's going to be a mixed bag. Um, I think that there are uh, startups out there that um, certainly are going to be hurting, um, what I'm seeing is that they're able to pivot and uh, maintain their cash reserve, which is important. Uh, there's others that, believe it or not, um, there's innovation that comes out of these kinds of crises. So you're going to see some new small businesses that will pop up uh, because of this. It could be surrounding, you know, testing. It could be you know, types of products that you know, are associated with uh, COVID-19 crisis. Um, you're even seeing companies now that are pivoting all sizes that are uh, creating masks, uh, hand sanitizer, right? We're seeing uh, the, the hospitality community is switching over to uh, producing hand sanitizer. So I think you're going to see um, a variety of things that, that will happen. Unfortunately, I think we're going to lose some businesses. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that that number is, is fairly low. I think our success is going to really depend on how long we're in this crisis. You know, it seems like a million years ago, we were, you know, in front of people and having face-to-face -face meetings, and now we're not really not been as long as um, as we would think it is. And so I, I try to be uh, optimistic. Um, when I'm talking to businesses, they're, they're holding their own. 
for the most part. But again, I'm I'm not dealing with your chamber of commerce kind of business for the most part. And so these um, these businesses have been uh, they understand the risk. And even our you know venture capital uh, organizations, firms, and whatnot, you know they're they're you know they they're accustomed to risk. And um, a lot of them are very seasoned. So they've seen crisis before, maybe not to this magnitude, but the 08, 09 recession, 9, 11, I mean, they know how to really uh, jump in and help their portfolio companies try to stay above the water. Art Puzzi, an executive director of the Michigan Venture Capital Association. You know, I think we were in a pretty good spot our, uh, from a VC standpoint. You know, right before all this happened, economy was good. People had money. They wanted to invest. People were starting new business enterprises. I mean, all you got to do is go into the city, you know, and look at how Detroit has just, I mean, it's amazing what's happened there. Uh, did the VC people, do they still have money? And do you think that when we come out of this, that they're still interested? In, in laying it on the table? Yeah, uh, they still have money uh, and they're still deploying money, but of course they're going to be careful about it. Um, they have uh, funding for what you know they would call like follow-up funding for companies that they've already helped you know seed. Um, we have got a uh, research report that we do every year that really talks about the statistics of venture capital and angel investment uh, within the Michigan community. And we're going to be releasing um, some new numbers actually on Monday uh, that will really kind of speak to really how well the, the community is doing. Um, and without spoiling it at the moment, I would tell you that last year was a very good year for venture capital. Um, again, it's going to depend on how long we're in this crisis to see what kind of a, an effect it will have on venture capital activity. But I think what a lot of people don't realize, Dave, is uh, the, the pipeline is vast in Michigan. And there are, you know, I'm biased. I, we're, I'm <laughs> born and bred in Michigan. Sure. I want to see Michigan thrive. And I think we're one of the most innovative states in the country. And um, there's never enough capital to invest in in these entrepreneurs so i mean certainly there always could be more um but last year was a good year for fundraising for our, you know our vc community and um yeah there's there's still money in the in the ecosystem um but again everyone as well as they should be careful on how that's you know being deployed and uh you know and how it's going to be used in the future yeah, I mean, I'm not a financial whiz. I don't even you know how to play in the pool that you're in. But you would think with interest rates as low as they are, that people that have money that want to make that money work for them uh, would be looking for other opportunities as long as it's safe. So, um, you know, maybe that's why in, in some part why the VC market has been so strong. And we, we just hope that it comes back uh, booming and uh, that our businesses are okay. You are also, uh, if you don't mind me uh, sharing with folks, you are also a board member of the Michigan Society of Association Executives. I always got to say that real slow to get it right. Um, essentially, right. It, it's it's the Michigan Association of Associations. And, uh, you know, they are right in the center of this whole meeting thing. And the meetings just shut down. And it's going to be interesting to see whether um, even when all the orders are lifted. Now, clearly, we're going to hear from the governor this afternoon that the stay-at-home order is going to be extended. But at some point, it's going to get lifted. People are going to start getting together again. I see meetings are getting scheduled. The big one here in the state, the Detroit Regional Chamber Policy Conference up on Mackin Island that everyone knows about is rescheduled for August. So we're hoping that's a bellwether for people getting comfortable coming back together again. But do you have any sense of, uh, of what you think um, this huge industry in Michigan and just what we all need to do, uh, what it's going to look like as we get on the backside of this? Yeah, no, it's an excellent question. Uh, I'm concerned for the association and chamber industry, to be quite honest. Um, when you think about what their main missions are, 
to support the business community, uh, their, their people organization, whether you're a statewide or um, more regionalized, localized organization that deals with membership, um, you know, getting together uh, is, is kind of a, a main factor for a lot of these groups and, and not having that ability uh, does put, you know, these organizations at risk. A lot of the membership of these organizations are small businesses. They're, uh, the, you know, sole proprietorship, mom and pop, um, you know, hospitality business. I mean, they are all really affected and um, it's going to be difficult uh, moving forward. With that said, Again, it goes back to organizations being nimble enough and creative enough to find different ways to be involved with the small business community. So I definitely think when we come out of this, you're going to see some changes on, on uh, characteristics of how organizations work, but how people will work. You know, if, if, for example, we're out of this in a month, are you going to see people running, screaming out of their homes uh, to attend something. I think some you will, some are gonna be very cautious moving forward. So those organizations that can think about that now, ahead of time on what is this gonna look like on the other side, are the ones that are gonna be able to survive. And they've also gotta be relevant uh, to the small business community. Um, that's a tough sell, to be honest. I mean, there are, programs right now that um, pretty much any organization, including mine, try to get that information out to the entrepreneurial pipeline, but some of that money is going to run out. Uh, some of it already has. And we're hoping that there will be, you know, additional funding uh, that'll come out to help the small business community. So I think it's going to be key that if organizations um, are to survive, um, you know, they're going to have to, if not already, think differently on how they operate. And to your point, Dave, you talked about the Detroit Regional Chamber. By far, the biggest event they do, the Mackinac uh, Island Policy Conference, um, biggest event that they do, probably one of the bigger ones in the state. Um, you're going to have statewide or maybe even regional associations that, you know, they rely on these conferences for 70, 80 percent of their income. And if there's not a way to divert uh, and bring in some additional income or, or monetize the, the webinar component, you know they're going be they're going to be hurting. Uh, I know a number of them that are running into that right now where they're already thinking about you know how long can they hold out. Again, it's going to be about time. And so the sooner we can come out of this, obviously the better, you know, the better everyone is. I mean, yeah, and, you know, and the governor, cool. that's why I'm really, and I appreciate you saying that. And that's why uh, the governor's uh, press conference today is huge. Because, you know, and we're seeing pressure, political pressure, not to get in that game. But we are seeing pressure from, you know, from different opposing viewpoints. Viewpoint A, hey, you know, that you hear the president say that the remedy can't, uh, or the, you know, the, the cure can't be worse than, than the remedy or whatever. However, he says it. we got to add that to our, uh, Tyler, to our, uh, our, our vocabulary. But you got that camp and then you got the camp that's, hey, we got to do whatever we got to do to save lives and we're going to shut things down. We're just going to shut things down. So how that all gets worked yeah. out, it's going to be really interesting, Ara, to see how that plays out. We'll have a better idea here in Michigan this afternoon after we hear from the governor. Thank you. By the way, you did a great job being pundit here today on this show and I like it when we get uh, non-media people being pundit. Your comments are very helpful, very insightful today, are greatly appreciated. You're, you're, you're joining us via Zoom from your home right here in our in our Oakland County communities and uh, this uh, you know information right from uh, grassroots levels really what's great so and thank you for being so honest and honest and optimistic at the same time greatly appreciate it thanks Dave hey we're all in this together so we've got to uh, you know this is this is a short-term issue even though it, it, it looks bleak you know we will all come out of this um, probably smarter, better, 
but we will come out of it. All right, and what the what our audience doesn't know, and I know, is that you're you're an amazing musician. So uh, next time that we have Jan, maybe we can work a little music into this thing. What do you think? I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> okay. What else is he going to say, Tyler? Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. Yeah. Art Puzzi and joining us today, the executive director of the Michigan Venture Capital Association.